Welcome to the People's Marathon. Much like the journey that awaits these runners pounding the pavement for 26.25 miles this morning, the 26th Long Beach International Citibank Marathon's road has been filled with peaks, valleys, false starts, and inspiring victories. From its humble beginnings in the 1980s, this city's marathon always has been rooted in the passion of its participants. It's a testament to the power of that runner's high that has drawn 25,000 entrants this year, Long Beach's largest marathon to date. International City Racing, now Run Racing as of this year, has been producing the event since 2001, and it skillfully has run with the community's requests for themes, the course route, and this year, the inclusion of art. Here this morning with John Parks, and John, tell everyone who you are. Um, um, I'm the EVP with Run Racing. We're the organizing group that puts on the marathon here in Long Beach. Awesome. And we're going to get an inside look at how all this happens. John's going to tell us a little bit about putting this event together. Oh, it's a, it uh, takes a lot of logistics. Our team works all year long to just envision closing 26 miles of streets and thousands of volunteers and all the little moving parts, medical teams, everything. It's, it's, it's quite an undertaking, but, but it, when, when you have such a great experience out here on race morning and everybody's having a good time, it makes it all worth it. Yeah, awesome turnout this year. What do you credit that to? Well, I think a lot of a lot of different reasons. One, Long Beach just has now a reputation of just being really runner friendly, just a fantastic course, the beauty, the scenery, all the amenities of Long Beach, from the aquarium to the downtown to the restaurants. And it's a flat and fast course, which runners really love. And now we're getting tons of people out to cheer, like at Cal State Long Beach, we have over 5,000 students and different groups, so that really helps and inspires the runners. You know, it's amazing to have all these people here in Long Beach. I heard that we're going to have about 100,000 observers here. The streets belong to them today. I just, I'm always proud of this city. I know we can do this. We, we, we park the seas for anything that needs to happen. But really, this is an amazing thing to have in our city. All these individuals, great weather, great ambiance, great view. They're in the second district. There you go. with Bob Segrin, the CEO of International City Racing, now called Run Racing as of this year. Good morning, Bob. How are you doing? I'm doing good. What a great morning. And we got the marathon and half marathon started and getting ready for the 5K to start. Great. And tell me a little bit about how this all got started. You guys came into town in 2001 to start organizing the marathon? Correct. Well, there was a previous promoter uh, that had some financial issues and, and uh, left town owing a lot of money. And so the opportunity was there. We came in, put a group together, and and took the event over in 2001, and we built it up from 4,000 people that first year to probably a little over 23,000 today. Wow, that's pretty fantastic. It's good. It's very exciting. And tell me just about timing these guys. How does that all work? What kind of system are you using? Well, it's a chip timing, or it's actually a D-tag is what it's called today, and it's a just a timing device that it starts their time when they cross the star line and then there's numerous checkpoints out on the course that gives them split time and then of course they get a finish time when they cross so it doesn't matter if you're the your time doesn't start until you cross the star line so you don't have to be the first one out here with one of the top finishers from the Long Beach Half Marathon and tell us your name and where you're from my name is Tim Oxtrinus and I'm from uh, Long Beach California Awesome. Are you a native? Uh, I grew up in Orange, so just finished school in Santa Barbara and came back here. So Very cool. Now tell us kind of about your running history. Were you doing this from a young age? I uh, started in high school, okay. ran in, uh, ran through high school and uh, college, and then trying to keep it going out here uh, as a professional. So. Awesome. Is this um, your first time on the half marathon course, or have you done this in the past? I've done the marathon here before, but this is my second half marathon. Uh, yeah. Vincent Rojas. And what do you like about and this course? Redondo Beach coming on in. It's my hometown, so it's the place. Yeah? Yeah. Here with 
Blair Cohn. He's executive director of the Bixby Knowles Business Improvement Association. Morning, Blair. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. And tell us about your participation in the event today. What did you do? Well, today I was just a uh, participant of the bike tour, which was wonderful because uh, the energy was great. Everybody was friendly out there, chit-chatting and just talking about uh, life in general as they cruised the streets. And uh, the miles disappeared like nothing. It was great. Awesome. What was your favorite part of the course? I think as it got a little bit lighter and as we were on the bike path, and you just see how gorgeous it is, you know, all along the water and everything. Yeah. Awesome. It's always a gorgeous view. And tell us about your bike. So I was lucky enough to ride one of Tony Cruz's new yeah. carbon fibers bike. And the beauty of it was it did all the work. I just had to sit on the bike. So I, it just took me and I barely pedaled. But it's all carbon fiber. And um, Tony's at uh, cruiseindustries.com is where you'll find the info, but uh, it's his new line, and it's the fastest thing I've ever been on. That's great. It seems like you had an advantage. I did. It was great. I was watching people trying to struggle up the hill, but I, mean, I was just kind of cruising because I had a cruise bike. And tell us about your shirt, We Love Long Beach Arts. Okay, so I raised funds for arts funding in Long Beach, so I had sponsors donate. So because of budget cuts, the arts have been cut back. So it's very important to me that the schools get funded and, and all of the institutions here. So we're all trying to raise money so arts are supported and stay healthy in Long Beach. Whether they chose to run, walk, bike, or cheer from the sidewalks, the people on the streets today can be proud that they were part of something greater than themselves. The collective spirit of endurance, determination, and hope that it requires to make a seemingly impossible physical feat for most possible. It's been a great event today. We've seen some really fantastic runners like these guys in the back here. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all for now, Long Beach. Thank you.